John Weber in the Low Country. Today I am at Harbor Town, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And I wanted to talk to you today about my day in Harbor Town. I thought that might be interesting for several of you. Uh, just to show you the things that you can do down here, what this has to offer, and what a world-class resort Sea Pines really is. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I do put a video out each week. Uh, you can also give a thumbs up. It helps the channel. I am an associate broker with Charter One Realty, number one real estate company in the entire Low Country. So stay tuned. I'm going to go over the things to do down here, give you a little history on the lighthouse, and let's do this. Let's start with the iconic lighthouse. The first lighthouse was built in 1863 by Union troops. And as the years went on, uh, Charles Frazier was the developer of Sea Pines. And he came in here and decided to put a marina in here and build that lighthouse. And people always ask, why is it uh, striped like that. He wanted to make it fun. He wanted to make Harbor Town fun. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it when we go over there. But it's a fun place, sit around with family. It's iconic now because of the Heritage uh, Golf Tournament uh, that, that always shows the lighthouse. Right next to the lighthouse, you can see a building under construction right there, and that is called the Quarter Deck Restaurant. It was a restaurant before, actually one of my favorite places just to sit there, have lunch, and look at the boats coming in and out. But what they've done is they knocked that down and they've built this, or they're building this incredible restaurant. And can you imagine the permits they had to have to put it right there? Uh, there's gonna be multi-floors there, oyster bar, great seafood, uh, great bar, uh, real, it's going to be a real happening spot on Hilton Head Island and we're all pretty excited about that. I believe the signage says spring of 2022, so we'll see. I'm going to say spring, summer 2022. It'll be ready, but lighthouse, iconic, candy stripe, really, really cool. And uh, that's the first thing I'm going to tell you about. We'll go on to the next one now. I'm on the 18th green here at uh, Harbor Town. Um, they have the Heritage Classic here each year. It's the weekend after the Masters. Um, this is really quite a famous green right here. Pete Dye designed the golf course. Arnold Palmer won the first tournament in 1969. Calabogie Sound is right there and a mile and a quarter across that water is Defusky Island. So a lot going on right here. Outstanding golf course. I've played the course, one of my favorites actually, the narrowest fairways on the PGA Tour. Small greens too. Uh, really, really nice. It's expensive to play, but it's, a lot of people have it as a bucket, le bucket list, but it's really special to take a caddy, play this golf course, and you finish right here. The lighthouse, very cool. So this is Harbor Town Golf Links. So in the summer, this is a great spot. The stage, lots of families, children, picnic tables, people eating out here. And they have a performer. I did a video about reverse mortgages with uh, my friend Jim Davidson. He performs here as well. Great singer. And it's really fun. It's a fun environment down here. Uh, a lot of people from Sea Pines come here and just chill, relax, listen to good music and all under this 200 year old oak tree uh, and they just sit casually in these uh, benches you know it's like a throwback in time so it's really cool so good story uh, we lived in williamsburg virginia in 1985 86 when i got in the business and we became friends with the golfer curtis strange and his wife sarah and so we came down here to watch the heritage classic one year and curtis is a big boater and so he played in the tournament. He didn't win, but he had his boat right here in the marina at uh, Harbor Town, and, and he was backed right up, back to back to, with Greg Norman's boat. So after the tournament, word got to us that why don't we join him on his boat? So me, 
Me? <laughs> so anyway, we went down to Curtis Strange's boat, Greg Norman's boat, and just, you know, talked about the tournament you know, right here in the, in the marina. It was really, really cool. I gave him a few pointers, though. So I'm sitting in these red chairs in Harbor Town, and when Charles Frazier, his father in 1949 was part of a, a, a timber syndicate that owned two thirds of Hilton Head Island. And Charles Frazier would come down, and in 1950, he was uh, uh, entering his freshman year at Yale. So he convinced his father to let him start to create a community resort what's now known as Sea Pines. He already knew the beaches were awesome, but he wanted to make it environmental, all one with nature. And when you see Sea Pines, it's hard to see the houses and villas because they're all like gray and brown and you have to kind of look through the trees to see it. Eliminating not so many trees and really making it woodsy, which he did. He also put these red chairs down here and everybody said, what are you doing with the red chairs in the, the the marina area. He goes, I just want people to be, uh, just make it a fun experience. Come down here and rock, uh, watch people, go to restaurants. And that's why uh, the, the lighthouse is paint, painted the candy stripe uh, red and white because it's, it's whimsical, it's fun. He must have been a fun guy. A very famous picture of Charles Frazier uh, with an alligator walking. Uh, so uh, I can only imagine back then uh, all the alligators that they had here. There wasn't much here in the 50s, that's for sure. Nowadays, as I mentioned in other videos, we've, we've captured most of the gators and shipped them off to Georgia, so it's not really a problem now. Anyway, a little story about Charles Frazier and the rocking red chairs. This is a great place to stay, the Inn and Club at Harbor Town. So it's great, small hotel, five-star luxury. You overlook the golf course, you look at the golf club, really, really great, uh, awesome place to stay. So consider this if you're coming and you want to stay in Harbor Town. So you don't see this every day. All of this, all these tennis balls, Harbor Town, unique place.